my name is Mark Hudson, I co-edit Manchester Climate Monthly and tonight we're making a film about a meeting that's happening here in the Friends Meeting House on The Spirits Level, a recent book which talks about inequality in society. In her talk, Professor Pickett covered the research that appeared in the book. Essentially it argues that inequality isn't just bad for people on the bottom rungs of the ladder, but for everyone and for future generations. At one point she described consumerism as a massive threat to our ability to move toward a sustainable low-carbon society. If you're especially patient, there's a one-minute clip where she explains how that's so at the end of this film. There was even time for a study about the high and low status monkeys and their need for cocaine. It was that kind of evening. Professor Pickett closed with the observation that the British Attitude Survey shows that we are looking down on the poor more, and she observed that we need to create a movement that demands equality from our policy makers, and she hoped that we will look back in a couple of decades upon greed in the same way we now look on misogyny, racism and homophobia. There was, of course, a question and answer session, and after that McFly caught up with a few people as they left. It was an excellent event. Uh, I thought Kate was really impressive. Um, I still think the big question is not to describe the problem, it's about what do we do about it. My name is Paul Southworth, uh, I'm a student of public health. I thought it was very interesting but I um, thought there was a lot of data there and she didn't really uh, explain how the data works. There's a lot of correlation but not much mention of how that really worked and I thought it I'd, I'd like to know a lot more about um, <coughs> causation. Okay, my name is Dawn Hart. Um, I'm 27. I'm currently full-time working at the Cooperative Bank. Uh, I suppose what was interesting about tonight is the, the, the kind of breadth that this research covered. It's not, well I guess it was evident at a micro level when looking within a country and then at a multinational level looking across the world. And, there is something that every single person in all parts of the world should be concerned about. Um, and it's a real kind of global theme, I think. Uh, my name is Emma Normanton. Um, I live in Manchester. Well, I came because um, I'm a Quaker. And so I knew that this event was going on through, through the Quakers. And Quakers picked up the book quite strongly right when it came out because one of the things we try to do is um, work for equality. Yeah. Speaking, I thought it was very good, it's very clear. Um, it was dispiriting in a lot of ways as graph after graph comes up, showing on so many different indicators how um, unequal societies do worse and how this is bad news for everyone, whether you are having your house burgled repeatedly or whether you're feeling the need to burgle other people's houses. Um, um, but one of the things that I thought was really good about it was how many things it brought together. So there was a whole section about um, sustainability and climate change and how, predictably enough, unequal societies emit more and the heads of their corporations are less concerned about adhering to international regulations on, on emissions and, and so on. So what I found, I found it dispiriting because the data is depressing, but in a way I, find, I found that joined upness encouraging. And, and also the call that, that came out in the question session for more joined up activism, which, which speaks to me. I'm Kate Pickett. I'm the co-author of The Spirit Level and a co-founder of the Equality Trust. And our research shows that when societies become more unequal, status matters more. And when social status matters more, it becomes more important to try and um, keep up and present yourself as, as an important person worthy of respect, then consumerism rises and materialism rises. And that means that inequality is linked to sustainability and climate change because reigning in consumerism is something that's really important if we want to create sustainable economies, cope with challenges of climate change. And to do that we need to reassure people that they can have a better quality of life by enhancing social relationships between people rather than by buying more stuff. Yeah.